Over the last 12 months, I've tested almost every fat loss or metabolic peptide that gets talked about online. Now, some worked, sure. Some did absolutely nothing. Some look great on paper, but didn't translate in real life. So to date, I've personally run four full cycles of retrotrutide, and I've also worked with dozens of clients using it. And I've lived inside all of the data long enough to separate the hype from what actually moves the needle. After all of that, I have narrowed it down to three peptides. Not some massive stack, not something flashy, just three peptides that consistently deliver fat loss, metabolic efficiency, and performance, especially as you get older, or should I say younger like me. I just turned 44 and I feel and look better than ever. So let's get into it. I have got a great YouTube video going over these three peptides in store for you, but first, but some quick context and something you must know before we begin. This is education. It is not, I repeat, not medical advice. If you are researching peptides, you either need to decide what's right for your own biology or work with a qualified medical professional. I am not, I repeat, not here to tell you what to take. I am here to show you how my thinking has evolved and adapted based on all of the different experiments that I have gone through personally with the different peptides, the stacks, looking at my in-body data and my labs to hopefully help you and provide you with some information that will help you evolve too. In this video, I'll share what I tested, what I felt, and what stuck. And I think I've narrowed it down to the absolute three best fat loss peptides above all else. Now here's the thing, right? Most fat loss attempts fail because people are fighting the wrong battle. They're fighting calories, they're fighting hunger, they're fighting the scale, but they never fix the biology underneath. And so you've got poor insulin sensitivity, you've got sluggish mitochondria, you've got bad metabolic signaling, you've got fat cells that are basically locked and shut off. So you can lose some weight, yeah, sure, and a lot of people do, but then you rebound, right? Like most of the world is doing, right? That's that yo-yo diet. What I realized is this, all right? Fat loss isn't about force, it's about leverage. And the three peptides that I keep coming back to after literally trying all of the metabolic and fat loss peptides are retrotrutide, 5-amino-1-MQ, and MOTC. I think of them like this. Retrotrutide cleans up the signals. 1MQ removes the resistance and MOTC upgrades the engine. Each one does something different. There's no overlap and that's intentional. That's something that I'm really leaning into after trying so many different metabolic and fat loss peptides. So we're gonna start with Retrotrutide, the king, GLP-3. Most people talk about it like it's just an appetite suppressant. And yes, it absolutely reduces food noise. I love it for that and all of my clients Love it for that too. But that's not why it has stayed in the stack. What mattered more was what it did to the metabolic signaling, right? You've got GLP-1, GIP, and glucagon. In real life, that showed up as better insulin control, less compulsive eating, better nutrient partitioning, and more metabolic flexibility. And after four cycles, the sweet spot dose for me has landed around 0.6 to 1 milligram three times per week, and this matters. Something I must share with you is I don't force injections. Just because that's the protocol at the beginning doesn't mean that I follow it all the way through. Some weeks, I would actually skip a dose, not because I forgot, but because my body didn't need it. A protocol isn't some commandment, right? And listening to your body always matters more than anything else. Another place where the true tide really shines for me is when and if you decide to fast. On fasting days, you can expect less hunger, better energy, better adherence, which made it easier for me to stay consistent when I decided to fast. When I run a Red or True Tide, my cycle lengths usually last for about 12 weeks. Not because it's a magic number, but because cycling off does matter, especially for receptor sensitivity. More isn't better. Longer isn't better. And longer certainly isn't always smarter. Now let's talk about 5-amino-1-MQ. This one took me a little longer to understand. On paper, the most commonly referenced dose is 100 to 150 milligrams per day. However, that's almost always referring to the oral tablets. I've run that 
multiple times. Now, knowing oral delivery isn't as bioavailable, fact, right? Higher doses have made sense early on. And needless to say, that was my baseline. When I switched to injectable 5-amino-1-MQ, I changed my approach. I decided not to chase the same numbers. As we all know, injectable is far more bioavailable. So I started more conservatively, just 20 milligrams per day during my first injectable cycle. And that's where things have changed for me. I'm currently finishing my fourth overall cycle, but my first injectable cycle, and I can say this honestly, I look and feel better on 20 milligrams injectable than I ever did on much higher doses. The exact same compound, completely different experience. That was a big lesson. Bigger numbers don't automatically mean better outcomes, especially when the delivery method changes. Very important. This is not a compound I run indefinitely. I keep cycles to about six weeks, then I take a break. On my next cycle, I'm going to increase again. I'm gonna get closer to 50 milligrams per injection and I'll definitely report back. You see, that's the process, right? We test, we observe, and we adjust. So now that we know Redotrutide improves the signal and 1MQ removes the resistance, whereas one tells the body what to do, the other helps fat cells let go. Let's talk about MOTC, the third peptide in this stack. MOTC shows up very differently. I notice it less on the scale and more on the performance side. As you probably know by now, MOTC is a mitochondria-derived peptide. It directly impacts the cellular energy production, glucose utilization, and insulin sensitivity. And for me, someone who's already metabolically fit, the dose that made sense was five milligrams three times per week. And timing for this matters. I inject it about 30 minutes before training to ensure I feel the endurance benefits that MOTC can provide. My endurance improved, my workouts feel smoother, and the energy feels cleaner. Anytime I run MOTC, it's for 10 weeks in total. For the first six weeks, I'm running five milligrams three times per week, and then I taper to five milligrams once per week for another four weeks before cycling off for a total of 10 weeks. Now, can you run it for longer? Sure. Can you run it for shorter? Sure. Can you play around with the dosing strategy? Absolutely. This is what has worked for me and many of the clients that I serve inside of FitScript. Here's the part though that really changed things. All right, listen up. I'm 44 years old. During my first red of two tide cycle, my body fat dropped from just over 12% to the mid 7% range around 7.7%. But the number isn't the point. I did that while increasing lean mass not maintaining it, increasing it. At 44 or really any age, that's not a typical outcome. Since that first cycle, I've changed how I train drastically. A lot less heavy strength resistance work, a lot less volume. I'm focused more on explosiveness, mobility, recovery, and more longevity focused movement. In other words, less output, with daily caloric intake about the same generally would mean some fat gain with some muscle loss. And I can happily report that that has not happened. I've stayed lean, I've kept all my muscle, and my performance has stayed solid. My experience with these peptides has certainly taught me some things. The internal environment matters. When metabolism is efficient, when insulin sensitivity is high, when cellular energy production is strong, the body stops being fragile and it becomes adaptable. So training stress matters less, diet fluctuations matter less, and your recovery improves. And I can say you'll no longer need willpower once you've optimized your biology. So if you wanna understand peptides deeply and on a whole new level that puts the power of knowledge in your hands, I built something you will love. It's called Peptide U, and inside we cover how peptides work, different dosing, stacking, and cycling strategies. I teach you how to deal with reactions and sensitivities, the different delivery systems, safety frameworks, and the new research coming out all the time. We talk about it along with live Q and A's and live coaching calls. So if you're serious about growing your knowledge and no longer guessing your way through a sea of peptide misinformation, you've got to check out Peptide U. You can take it for a test drive absolutely free for three days, and I will drop the link in the description below. Learn, evolve, optimize. Peptide U is the trusted learning platform for anyone researching peptides all the way from beginners to biohackers. I hope that you found this video helpful. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I'm super excited to be on this health journey with you, and I'll see you in the next video.